You're welcome back to the conversation in New Central Television. The first half of the show, we did talk about uh, the Labour Party candidate, Mr. Peter Obi's endorsement by Nigeria's former president, Lushegor Basenjo. It's now time for us to switch gears and look at political happenings in Tanzania, where Tanzania's president, Samia Sulu Hassan, has lifted the country's six year ban on opposition rallies imposed in 2016 by her predecessor, strongman, the late John Pombe Magufuli. Under the ban, elected politicians were only allowed to conduct rallies in their constituencies, but other political rallies or protests were banned. In 2018, the Magufuli led government also passed a law forcing bloggers, social media influencers, and online platforms to apply for a license and pay a one time fee of $930 to keep their sites up. Opposition parties and civil rights groups had criticized Madhukfili's ban, which resulted in frequent arrests of political figures and clashes between their supporters and police. Now, join us for this conversation. We have Prosper Kwigize, leader, community media network and director, Bua FM Radio. Join us from Kigoma, Tanzania. We also have Imana Lukashu, advocate, High Court of Tanzania, joining us from Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Gentlemen, welcome to the conversation. Thank you so much. All right, so I'll begin with you, Prosper, because you're a media personnel, and uh, now we're seeing that uh, political parties, and of course, there'll be a freedom uh, of criticisms against the ruling government uh, from Samia Sulu Hassan. I mean, what's your reaction to this? Do you see this as a right step in the right direction, or are you skeptical with this pronouncement? Prosper, can you hear me? Uh, Prosper, you need to unmute your device, please. Okay, while we sort out Prosper's audio, I'll just direct the question to Emmanuel. Emmanuel, what's your reaction to the news of President uh, Samia Sulu Hassan ending a six year ban on opposition rallies? First and foremost, is that it has been historical yesterday when Our Excellency has made a very historical announcement of lifting out the, the ban. Things because it was something that was not imaginable, it's something that was not expected by any person. It begins in some way because once Samia Sulu Hassan, she ascended the power in 19th March 2021. She said that she needs to reconcile the country. She needs to unite the country. She created the task force. And among the recommendations of that, you must lift the, the, the ban of the political party. See, because it's their right that whenever a political party is registered, it must be political rallies under uh, Section 1, Sub 1A of the Political Parties Act. Therefore, by United that right, that means it will encounter the civic space, it hinders and strengthens the, the powers and the democratic values of the country and all issues that is done in the country. So by yesterday, President Sanders one had make an historical of whereby nobody else could expect because since the past regime of our excellence, the late Magufuri, it was a strong man army that no one else could build political rally. No one else could stand to say anything to criticize. So the study of Samia, it creates a new era. It creates a new environment. It creates a new hope for the country that we are now building the country. We are now unifying the country. And now we look the 19 political party registered in the political rallies in everywhere across countries, doing everywhere criticizing its government or making the freedom of speech. So for us, as the lawyers and the people who are activists, we are really happy for this very historical, historical announcement to the president. No one would expect that the president really to come this way. It has been a very great moment for us. Okay, thank you so much, Emmanuel. I believe we have Prosper back with us. And we're seeing an end to a six-year ban on the position rallies. And this came since 2016 during the tenure of the former president, John Magufuli. Now, take us back in time. I mean, what was the major reasons why this ban was put in place for the opposition rallies? And are you confident that this ban, which has ended, that Samia Sulu Hassan, there will be strict enforcement to the end of this ban? Prosper, can you hear us? All right, we'll try and get Prosper back with us. So, Emmanuel, I have this question to you also. I mean, because there's been a lot of skepticism uh, surrounding this end of a six-year ban on opposition rallies. You talk about hope uh, with uh, Samia Sulu Hassan, and of course, a lot of changes in the presidency. But some people are still skeptical on uh, the enforcement of this uh, end of the year, of this end of the six-year ban. Are you confident that there will be strict enforcement of this? 
they could come out to show that people are very skeptical and are very worried that if that is what the president means. I can really take the side that I believe and I have a very good hope that I have to tell the Dr. who asked that she has walked her talk. Since she said that she will make a reconciliation, she will do, she will do a country that will be in between five. And that means that since the president has made a public announcement, that means all the, the security machinery has to get into power, has to implement the, the president's announcement. Because if you need to be a political party, Rally, you must request a, a pamphlet from the OCD, that is political command of the district, so that the political command of the district now will not deny the people to do political rally. Since that we are responsible to the president, it just means force that we just notify them to do that they be protected or given security. But another scenario, people are thinking that the president is playing a political issue. I can assure you that the president is very good willing in this because she has said, and she has said that she's making it public and she's ready to be challenged. And she's ready to be encountered with any concern about this. And she says it was not easy because even as security leaders, it was not easy for her to come up with that announcement. As security leaders told her that don't talk to the political parties, don't talk to the opposition, don't talk to anybody, just do what you do. She said yesterday that that was not easy. So she made it very wise and she stood for her own value. She stood for herself to be comforted that I'm the comforter in chief of the president and I need to do this in a very good way and in a good manner. And to also to, to be accredited international that the Tanzania now has the political space that everybody can do, everybody can exercise the democratic value, everybody can do a political assembly and do a political association. So those who are skeptical might take them into the front that let us join the president in this moment, that the president has shown very good will, that we have never had it for almost 60 years. It has been a dream for us. Emmanuel, you seem to have some really kind words for President uh, Samia Sulu Hassan, but let me uh, bring in Prosper into this conversation. Some critics have accused President Hassan of carrying, out, carrying on with uh, the late President Magufuli's authoritarian tendencies, despite uh, seeking to make conciliatory moves uh, to the opposition since taking office. Critics have also branded Hassan a dictator, and fears remain about the state of political and media freedoms in Tanzania. How do you respond to this, and how will you rate uh, President Samia Sulu Hassan's democratic credentials, freedom of speech, and also uh, the freedom of media? Uh, first of all, let me respond to the previous question about the uh, end of ban of political rallies in Tanzania. Uh, actually, uh, most of the communities are now enjoying that announcement saying that it's a new chapter for Tanzania uh, to prosper uh, uh, on a political uh, movement in Tanzania because they believe that uh, the political uh, po po politics is one of the uh, development uh, initiatives uh, because you, the polit uh, political uh, uh, freedom to, of sp speech uh, for political uh, party readers and uh, community, it's a way of uh, joining hand together uh, to move forward. And uh, coming to the to the current question, uh, yes, uh, when we see the differences between the previous president and uh, Samia Suluh Hassan, we saw big uh, a bridge between the media and the government. As you you may uh, remember that in the previous regime. Uh, few of our newspapers were banned, radio stations so, that have been uh, fined so many uh, uh, fines, uh, millions of shillings, but also online, uh, online media have been uh, charged to pay for license, uh, uh, a big plate of mount, and, uh, and by US dollar. And by, but uh, since they were... Uh, Samia Sulu Hassan opened the forum to discuss with the media owners, but also media practitioners. We can see the dif big difference compared to the previous uh, government. So, for sure, this move of Ma Madam Samia Sulu Hassan shows that the country is now open for each and everyone to discuss and agree on what way should be taken to make sure that the, ch the country is moving ahead. Okay.
Now, Prosper, still looking at this uh, change and hope for Tanzania. Now, earlier on, Emmanuel mentioned something about political tendencies of uh, Samia Sulu Hassan. I know she came under the platform of uh, John Magafuli, of which his tenure uh, was not, uh, did not end, and then he died while in tenure. Now, some people are still looking at the fact that this all this moves, the reconciliatory move, it's towards 2025. But I know it's quite touching, and we know that in 2021, we saw that uh, a newspaper, which was owned by the ruling party, was suspended for publishing a story saying Hassan would not run for office in 2025. Now, tell us a bit about the political situations. I mean, ahead of 2025, what are we hoping to see? Are these all moves uh, to bring forth uh, a smooth running for 2025? Actually, even if you hear from her mouth, you see the 2025 movement. Uh, yesterday, uh, she also said that if you criticize me and I work on that issue that you raised, uh, that my political party is not doing well. So if I do well, it means that in 2025, I will warn against you. So that statement means that Madam Samia Suru Hassan is preparing the path to make sure that she won in the next general election 2025. And uh, when, when we discuss about the political or landscape in Tanzania toward the 2025 general election, indeed, we see the tough competition that is going to come. Uh, because as you know, uh, for almost six, seven years, uh, uh, since the political parties uh, opposition were not to were not able to uh, come out and uh, uh, and, uh, and convene mass meeting and convene rallies. It means that their voice was not heard to, by the community by, the, by their supporters. But now they are going to to talk and be heard, and then the community who are voters will have access to decide who to vote and not who not to vote. So it means. Uh, this uh, this end of ban is opening a new chapter of uh, a very criticism from the uh, uh, opposition, but also it will also support or help the ruling party uh, to work on their mistakes. Maybe they are taking they are taking uh, uh, in, during this uh, uh, almost 70, 60 years since the political opposition parties were not able okay. uh, to come out. Now, Emmanuel, uh, finally, before we let you go, are there any signs that exiled opposition leader Tindalisu, uh, who told me here on New Central Exclusive that the late President uh, John Pambe Mogufuli ordered his assassination attempt? He did meet with President Hassan in Belgium last year on the sidelines of the EU Africa summit. Is there any sign he will be returning to Tanzania soon? And what's the latest in the investigation into his assassination attempt? First and foremost is that we are very uncertain that the, uh, the investigation of the senior council of children facility has not been at position up to now. He has not been taken to no any culprit has ever been caught, no suspect has ever been put on the board, no investigation has ever been put on board, not even the car that was uh, fired by a lot of guns that is at the police center at the Doma, no one has ever looked at it, that exhibit. No, anything has been done since 2017. That's the reality. And the system is very tight. It has been quite on that because this is the one we needed to initiate that was the late Magufuli. So and no any of the security could go about beyond that. It would be a very serious harm for that. But coming on the other hand, that what is the president uh, Samia Suluas admitted to the list at Belgium, it is true that they met and they talk and they make a very good arrangement. And the, there is a very good possibility that to be able to return back in Tanzania. As far well, as, well as one of the former presidential candidates of the opposition, one of the strongest lawyers in our country, one of the very, the very active person and the very objective person in the criticism of our of the country. So I hope so with this, uh, we will lift up to the ban. I think so, the only time the children will come. Though we have not said any statement, because even in the social or in anywhere, he has not said anything since yesterday where the president has made a public announcement. So because he demanded that he need a special security, but I know under President Sadez Ruasan, he will, will, he will meet that demand. And not only him, and all of us who are going for exile, running okay. from Tanzania with the political issues. So that's what I do believe. Maybe in, the, in April, 
you might be had make a statement of coming because it's set on April, you might be back in the list. So maybe we're waiting for April. Okay, thank you very much, gentlemen. Prosper Brigizay, leader community media network and director of Buha FM, joining uh, from Kigoma, Tanzania, and also Emmanuel Kashu, advocate High Court of Tanzania, who joined from Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Thank you very much uh, for being a part of today's conversation. We do appreciate your time and insight. Thank you. And this is where we draw the curtains in today's edition of the conversation. The first half of the program, they talk about uh, the endorsement of the Labour Party candidate by Nigeria's former president, Olusegun Obasanjo. And we just concluded our conversation on the lifting of the ban on political rallies in Tanzania by President Samia Sulu Hassan. Thank you very much for being a part of the program. I am Benga Aboroa. And I am Rita Omodia. Have a beautiful year, 2023.